Arts in the town of Harmony. Take a look. I'm going to get you home early. I know you have a big match tomorrow, so... I don't gonna... care about that. I don't care about anything except being with you. Seeing you trapped behind those flames. Realizing how quickly you can lose the one that you love. Life is too short to wait. One precious minute away from the person that you're supposed to be with. So I take it you don't want me to move to L.A. You take the music in? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Please welcome from Passions, Brooke Kerr. <laughs> for her right now because she's got to choose between her family and the man that she's in love with. And she's experiencing love for the first time, which is very powerful, you know? So, and she wants to please her parents and all that stuff, too. So, it's hard for her right now. Yeah. Now, in the beginning, the character was 14 when you auditioned for the part, or she was supposed to be? Yeah, she's supposed to be like 14 or 16. And you are how old? Can you say? Or you're older? <laughs> you're older than that. 29. But let's, let's say 29. that. <laughs> no, but I mean, you look like 17, 18. Yeah, yeah. I really do. So your your husband sent your picture in. Is that true? Well, okay. The, the character came out, and I and I read the role, and she was goal-oriented, teenager, like just a great role. You know what I mean? And um, they were like, mm, you're not that young. You know what I'm saying? And, and my fiance, <laughs> he said, baby, you can do it. So he went down there and he gave him my head shot and they got me an audition. And from there, I went straight to screen test and it was just wow. it was awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. validating. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. When you're told no and then you get to do something. I know, I know. It was, it was great. It was really nice, nice to have someone in your household that's on your side that much. You know? That believes in you that much. Exactly. Now, he actually was the one that got you into acting in the first place? Or this is your your husband now or your fiancé now? Well... Okay, we went to Justice of Peace when we were young and rebels and that kind of thing. But, uh, we you got married very early. Yeah, yeah, but we are going to have a real wedding. You are. You're planning one days. now, right? Yeah. And now, is it true that you got married on the way to having your baby? You were pregnant, you were having the baby in the hospital, and you got married right before? Kind of right before. Okay. A couple days before. Okay. We kind of were trying to do the right thing on the way to the... <laughs> the whole... I like that. And yeah. so now you're going to have a, a big, nice wedding. Yeah, it's going to be good. And you've been married for how many years? We've been, I mean, um, what, 14 and a half? I mean, come on! Yeah. That's yeah. amazing! I'm going to say you guys did the right thing. <laughs> you know, that's the thing is that, you know, timing is everything in life, but if you find someone, obviously, that you feel that you want to be with for the rest of your life, who's to say that it doesn't happen at 17 or at 35 or at 75? That was kind of how we felt. I mean, we granted, we had a baby young. You know, it wasn't something that you ideally want to do, but the fact is that we were happy, and we didn't think that we should feel bad for being happy about our situation. And you know, know, that's absolutely. What is it? What made you decide to have the baby? Because you were 16 years old. I mean, a lot of times there's a lot of pressure put on a 16-year-old to either give the baby up once you have it. What made you have the baby and stay together? Once you're there, you realize that it's a life. And Big Chris was in the delivery room with me and saw the baby's hair, and he was like, "Baby, this is it." And we were both like, "No matter what, this is just it." I mean, this yeah. is just what our life is right now. You know, it's funny, because I've had this conversation with other members and other people. It's funny how things that seem like the biggest mistake at the time ends up, end up being the biggest gifts later in life. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I mean, I, I kind of feel like we got rid of the drama of life young, and we really just figured out the important things, which is that we care about each other and love each other, and that's, and everything else is really just icing on the cake. Absolutely. You know, we, we just really feel happy with our core. Right. You know, the three of us, and hopefully more. But, um, yeah, you want to have more children? <laughs> how, old, how old is your son now? Uh, 13. 13. Wow. Now, he's an actor yeah. as well, right? Yeah, yeah. He was in um, Men of Honor with Cuba Gooding Jr. and Robert De Niro. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. he, played, he played young Cuba in that, and he was in Love and Basketball and just finished a uh, six-month tour for Lion King playing young Cuba. Now, do you ever go into his room right at night and go, hey, uh, you think you can get me a part? <laughs> I know, exactly. I 
know, I go to a set with them, and I'm like, so, you know, I'm available too, right. <laughs> you know? And your husband also acts. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just finished a play at the Rex Theater in Hollywood, and he just booked another play at the end of the year, and he's been going out for pilots, you know, when it's this business, either you're working or you're unemployed. There's no real middle ground. But so we're all very happy, and, and, you know, got a lot going on, so it's good. What kind of things do you do as a family? Oh, we like to go to the movies together, and, you know, popcorn, and he has basketball, Little League, we go to Little League games, and we're the obnoxious, loud parents, to, you know, <laughs> just the ones that are just, just way too loud. Who cooks? Not me. I'm a high five. None of that. Well, the reason we because you brought a recipe, a family recipe with you today, Yes, right? I did, I did. I actually can make, like, you know, four things really, really Me good. Me too! You know, <laughs> you know, I mean, you don't really need, I mean, my fiancé, he can cook really well. Like, he, he's one of those people who, like, you know, even though the recipe doesn't call for something, he'll throw it in there. Right. And to me, I'm just like, oh, you know, you're not supposed to do that, but, you know, that's what you call a good cook, so yeah, I don't understand it, but, yeah, there is something that I did bring today for the fans on side. Hey! Yeah. Well, when we come back, we're going into the kitchen. We're going to go bacon with Brooke. Don't go away. Coming up next, find out how Brooke Kills serves up seven layers of fun. Later. We are back, and we're in the kitchen with Brooke Kerr. Now, Brooke, what are you cooking for us today? I'm cooking a seven-layer bar. Seven-layer bar. Yes, this is yes, a yes, dessert? Yes. Yeah, this is a very scrumptious, scrumptious dessert. Here it is, right here, you actually. You like scrumptious dessert? Yes. That's oh, very... That's yeah. yeah. One All right, so okay. how about we go through the ingredients? All right, here. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. you guys, okay. so let's go through the ingredients. Here's what you're going to need. A half a stick of Never butter. And that is the fatteningest butter you can find. Half a stick of melted butter. And oh, one and oh. a half cups of grim cracker crumbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our kitchen's moving. <laughs> and then one 14-ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Six ounces of chocolate chips, six ounces of butterscotch chips, six mm. ounces of coconut flakes, mm. it's good. I know. and six ounces of peanuts, chopped up. So okay. yeah, first of all, do you eat like this? I mean, you were so thin, you were, you were in great shape. Well, Obviously, you work out all the time. I work out a little bit, but I figure if you're going to cheat, you know, don't do the cheating where it's not really satisfying mm -hmm. to you, you know, my Go all out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, I got it's got to be good. So, all right. Here goes the butter. The right now. All right. Here okay. goes the butter. Okay, pour the butter on the bottom of your pan and spread it, spread it all around so it's nice and gooey and thick. My question is, what is condensed milk and how do you condense it? <laughs> Good question. Don't yeah. tell me you weren't all thinking that. <laughs> okay, the next step, you guys, this is the dough. Okay, we got the graham crackers in the bag here and yep. we're going to crush them and pound them just as much as possible. And you can use mallet, your fish, you know, your little potato masher, anything you want. Woo! Okay. okay, and here's our crushed products. Mm -hmm. I love that. Very crushed. Very and nice. then we put them in here. You just spread it on the bottom? Yeah. Just evenly all so the way around the bottom. So this forms the bottom crust, obviously. Exactly. Very good. Very thick and mm. patinated. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then we pour in our condensed milk. Nobody answered me about the condensed milk. <laughs> it's a mystery, isn't it? <laughs> it's really trying it to tell. It is. <laughs> This is very thick. So we're pouring this all in. Okay, so we got that in there. And then we're going to kind of like just mush it all around like that. Okay, then we're going to sprinkle on our semi sweet chocolate chips. Uh, now, less or more of any of these ingredients to your liking, whatever you want. More chocolate. More of everything is what I like. So, got all the chocolate chips in there. And then the butter not chocolate. using the rest of her chocolate. Hey! Okay. <laughs> I was going to eat those. Good. And then coconut. Yeah, mm. coconut is really good. Oh, yum. A little getting a little crazy with the coconut now, and then the peanuts. And then peanuts on top. Very nice. Now you moved from okay. Indianapolis to Los Angeles. Is that yeah. Right? Yeah. How old were you? I was what? Twenty five. Oh, five. No, twenty four. Oh wow. That's now what weird. made you do it? Made you take the move? Like, was it your idea? Was it Chris's idea? Your fiance well, was it? No, it was big C. Big C. Little C. Little C and big C. I love that. Actually, I was ready to start, you know, having more kids, settle down, you know, and they took us like, hmm, dude, I've never tried this acting thing, let's go out there and give it a shot, so. Now, were you an actress yeah. at the time? Well, you know, we, in, Indiana, in Indiana, I mean, what can you really do? I mean, yeah. we did, <laughs> like, a couple little things, but, yeah. I mean, you know, we did as much as we could, yes. 
you know, but when he came out here, we went to school and took it a little more seriously, and we got really into it. But Chris was actually the one that actually encouraged you to get into it. Oh, yeah. Or? Yeah, oh. yeah, he was. See, we're, we're going to bake over. these uh, in, for three, uh, in, what's it, 350 degrees for 15 minutes, okay? Okay. And put it in the oven, and this is the oven. Yes, that's the magic oven. The magic oven. <laughs> You go in Indianapolis for, for food, you know, is there oh. something that you miss because you're out here in L.A.? Thank yeah, you, yeah, there's like two major places that we go. We go to um, oh, Jack's Pizza, which has the best, oh, yeah, I read that. best pizza. And then Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. For all of you Midwesterners, Steak yeah. and Shake is the bomb. It's like Indiana. It's like in and out here, but mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. Great chocolate taste. I know Steak and Shake. You would have to have one of these. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We're going to munch down some seven-layer bars. Or for more information on today's show, log on to our website at www.soapnet.com.